Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Skeptic Optopsy. And, you know, this is my just uh, yearly, you know, summaries that I usually do on my channel. Uh, now, I originally meant to do this, uh, <clears throat> do this video somewhere back in December. But, you know, I actually made the video. I actually secured a place where I can do it. But, about the time where I could... I saw, actually saw the video, like the finished product, so to speak, and pretty, pretty much, suffice, suffice to say, God damn, my words today. Suffice to say, <coughs> it wasn't, uh, it didn't turn out right. Like, you know, I was out of it, I was kind of tripping out, you know. Uh, not like no heavy drugs or nothing like that, no. Like, don't, don't jump to conclusions, but, you know, I just wasn't in the right state of mind. I was really relaxed yeah let's say that yeah like I, I'm gonna pretty much let y'all put two and two together um excuse me god damn some good ass root beer uh so yeah you know I, now I finally got some time to do it we do this whole year round video for the channel uh of uh of what uh 2022 has been for me so far and you know some, of course, some future updates of what's going on and whatnot, and what I've been up to, and <coughs> pretty much how I've been feeling about things going forward. Okay, um, back in 2022, we lost a lot of great people. We lost Gangsta Boo and a myriad others I can't think of right now, but we lost a lot of good people. And pretty much, literally, that's the funny thing. When I was doing my 2022 uh, summary video of last year literally at the tail end of that year in December it came out it was confirmed it came out PNB Rock um, pretty much died to take off um, pretty much yeah at the, at the literal tail end of that year it was confirmed that Gangsta Boo died from uh, the 3-6 Mafia like literally like god damn this is the way I gonna start off 2023 but yeah that's what I'm just saying on the whole thing uh for all y'all who've known you know I finally graduated from college of last year uh, I may have said it in some videos before in the past but yeah I finally graduated and the BA in multimedia <coughs> excuse me um and pretty much at this point uh I'm just trying to find like a really high profile job so I can start my career, you know, like any person that leaves college, you know, like literally there's like zero, zero job opportunities outside, like, bro, I've been like literally signing applications after applications to get a fucking job, bro, even fucking being a dishwasher and all you literally doing is just scrubbing food off uh, plates, but you know, apparently that's even hard to get sometimes, like it's, it's rough out here in the real world, you know what I'm saying, out in the in the world, man, <laughs> and I'm finally experiencing that, got two jobs right now, currently, that's how I was able to, you know, afford to, you know, leave the state, uh, leave my state for a while to relax and, you know, do this video and all that, uh, so yeah, I mean, like, I feel like in these past, in these past, uh, give or take six months, uh, <laughs> give or take in six months, um, Feel like I really, uh, you know, grown up a little. <clears throat> I've experienced that myself, you know, some bit self reflection. Like that's that's what that means. Uh, it's shoot. It's the symbol of water. Water represents stillness. It represents benevolence. It represents, you know, a self reflection. You look into water. You see yourself. And sometimes some water might be hard to see, but yeah, that's just. I, I feel like doing I like. I really did self-reflect, you know, in terms of growing up this year. And, uh, yeah, for anyone who may have not noticed yet, I, I converted to Confucianism or Ruism. Where, you know, Ru means scholar. You know, I mean, at least that's what it says on the dog tag. Yeah, I, I converted to, to Ruism, like, literally a year ago. And even, like, two years, two years ago in uh, 2022, like, give or take 2020 is when... You know, I was really considering the uh, the jump. Although it's not like, you know, Islam or Christianity, there's no like grand, you know, religious acceptance of new members. It's just, Ruism, you know, it's it's always open-armed. It's always open hand that people want to convert. And, you know, I converted. And, 
you know, I kind of feel like if I was going to be Islamic or Christian or anything or a religious, I thought you know I could follow some sort of philosophy with some with some uh, rights uh, followed to them. And Confucianism that was one of them, or Ruism, or whatever you're choosing. More pro more probably Ruism. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much me about just the uh, uh, philosoph philosophy and. Uh, religious uh, preferences they go far just converted you know to uh, Confucianism like last year that's one thing that happened back in 2020 um, pretty much I just finished up college that year 2022 excuse me yeah oh that's another thing I'm getting old uh, my memory slipping but you know yeah that's just kind of comes up you know when you have to bounce back and forth to like multiple shit just get something done I mean in the future in terms of you know innovation which this channel will really see a huge jump in it uh, I wanted to actually do more business oriented things on this channel and YouTube as well as amongst amongst other uh, hundreds of uh, social media platforms I have that will all eventually become Vehicles for me to push uh, my more business innovations in the future. So, you know, the tag name Skeptic Autopsy might not even be a thing in like the next months. It might be like under the brand name I'm trying to go under. You know, I'm really trying to make moves. I'm trying to do a career. I ain't trying to work no job forever, bro. Uh, I have two jobs. One of them is fine, the other, eh. But all together, that's not what I want to do. For the rest of my life, and just retire and do nothing. Like, when I retire, I still kind of want to still be working, but you know, a career style working. Uh, so yeah, in the future, this channel and all the other ones under this ta under Skeptic Autopsy or the ones I have will eventually just become vehicles for me to push my product and business in the future, more business endeavors, so to speak. Um. In terms of 2022, I mean, uh, yeah, I know I'm like literally four months into this new, into the new year of 2023, but, you know, fuck it, I said I was going to do these, these videos are a tradition at this point, and although this one's kind of late, I still had to get through, so, yeah. Um, 2022, like, yeah, what else can I actually elaborate on it, like, uh, Pretty much a lot of celebrity deaths. I was pretty, pretty much trying to find any window that would promise me a job, and that shit's been hard. It's it's been difficult, but you know you gotta keep your high spirits up. You know what I'm saying? I also kind of also want to push. You know, talking about religious and ph uh, philosophy preferences. I also want to also have plans to like push more of my uh, ruist, you know, values and beliefs on this channel too. You know, like so y'all can know. More in the future, yeah. I'm just wearing a lot, I'm decked out in a lot of chains, <laughs> or as my brother would say, anal beads. But you know, <laughs> you, you know, young people are. Um, so yeah, pretty much uh, YouTube would be a vehicle for me to push my more business endeavors and probably even rules endeavors. But don't think all oh, because you know it's going to be pretty much a social media platform for business. Like I'm still going to be posting reviews and. You know, shorts, you know, that's one thing I've been doing this year, funny enough. I've been doing more this year. I mean, I did them once or twice last year, but I really got in them this year. But in 2022, like, that's when I actually, when I was actually considering the whole concept of actually pushing more things on here, uh, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, pretty much in 2020, 2022. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to not exactly really do shit. Like, uh, I mean, I guess that was the time where I really grew up, so to speak. I'm working two jobs, uh, in 2022, uh, I, my resume is longer. I graduated from from college. Uh, if any of you have already, I just said that, but yeah, I'm just marking on things I did in 2022. Graduated from college, um, you know, I'm actually experienced the whole uh, 
you know, young adult life, you know, the more passe young adult life, and not the current, you know, rough one I'm going through, you know, having to juggle with between two and three, two and three things, you know, like, never always having enough energy for anything, because you're working two jobs, and you literally wake up at like four o'clock in the morning, like shit like that, but I don't get more than any gritty, but that's just, that's just the little taste, that's just the taste of how, you know, this whole responsibility and, you know, adult life working and having to pay bills and all that shit is working out, expenses and everything else. Like, yeah, it's, it's rough on you, y'all. Yeah, it's, it's not what you think. Like, you jump right straight out of college and you get a career. I mean, I used to think that a lot, but when I actually got to college, I knew that wasn't going to be the, the case. Like, as as soon as I knew I was going to graduate, like, shit was going to be, like, really rough, for real, you know, with job searching and all that, you know, especially having, like, some credentials here, but not really up to par, but, you know, we cross the bridge and we get there. Uh, 2022, what else can I say about it? Uh, shit. Yeah, I mean, that's the time where I actually experienced the whole adult life and shit like that. Um... Is the year where I had an idea of where I wanted to take myself as a person, where I wanted to take myself in terms of future careers and whatnot. I mean, <laughs> there ain't really nothing to say about it. It's just, I don't know, 2022, it kind of came and went. Like, for real, for real. It, 2022 came and went. And although this, in really 2023, Seems really slow, but also really fast at the same time. Like literally, just a couple of months ago was literally still fall. Now it's uh, uh, winter. Excuse me. Now it's, it's spring. You know, my alley, she's acting up and shit. But you know, I got that at bay. Um, <coughs> in terms of music in that year, it was also forgettable. I mean, there were some things that came out here and there, um, and all that. Finally got around to finally seeing uh, Dragon Prince season four. I heard some really conflicting things about it, and honestly, when I saw it, I can kind of see where people was going, because season four of Dragon Prince doesn't really seem to have a plot going on, but there's still a story there, it just became too slice of life -y. Yeah, I think that's what people didn't like, like but you know, uh, Claudia and Viren, like, their, their arc is kind of actually the most uh, interesting, I mean, it's literally about a man who really died and he knows he's living on borrowed time and he's literally on the quest to heal himself uh, as Rand and Callum pretty much are just trying to be king and whatnot, you know but they're, they don't really know what they're doing and it's wacky hijinks so I can kind of see why people aren't really too interested in that like Dragon Prince just like Castlevania season 3 has so many subplots going on that are juggling at a time and I can see why some people may be uh, why, why uh, public reception on season 4 has been kind of mixed so far like it doesn't seem to really there doesn't seem to be any real plot going on or anything it's just <coughs> you know just a lot of subplots but not a lot to do with it yeah, like, like, so so far from what I've seen, I feel like, I feel like Viren and Cla Claudia has the best one because actually it's there's actually some tension to it, and you can actually relate to what's going on with that one. Um, you know, like a man literally on borrowed time, and he's literally finding a way to you know extend himself or whatever. You know, I've only seen halfway in it, but what I've seen of it, it's not exactly mediocre or adequate. But I'm still definitely waiting to see when the plot actually kicks in when it when it when the plot thickens with season four. So that's just um, that's just my view on uh, season four season four of uh, Dragon Prince so far as as far as I'm into it. Um, uh, shit, what else happened? Twenty twenty two. Shit. Uh, Finally got around to some of the films. Uh, some of the films in 2022 were a bit, uh, eh, I would say, but for the most part. I mean, Thor, Love and Thunder, uh, I didn't, I mean, it was fine, but I feel like the Thor movies are literally just action comedies at this point. 
Like the MCU has a reputation of having their comedic reliefs, having uh, too much comedy at uh, inconvenient times. But with Love and Thunder, it seemed like it didn't have no real fucking direction. Like it wanted to be a comedy, it wanted to be funny. And there was some parts that's really endearing, especially with uh, Christian Bale's character, Gore the God Butcher. Like you look at you look at his character, and you and that's exactly why Christian Bale is such a good fucking actor. When you see Gore the God Butcher's character in there, I mean, I did enjoy it. I actually did go to theaters to see it. It was fine. I enjoyed it, but it could have been less goofy, and it could have been something else bigger. Same thing what I had about uh, with uh, Doctor Strange. Well, that movie was kind of a snore fest. And again, that's a movie that actually could have been good. But I feel like, again, they kind of dropped the ball a little. Like they wanted us to sympathize with um, Scarlet Witch, but you really couldn't. She tried to bring back some imaginary kids and all that. Like the plot kind of went over my head and I couldn't really give half a shit of what was going on in that. Um, I saw The Woman King. I know how historically inaccurate it was, but it was still entertaining. But I could kind of see where, you know, some people may not like it uh, in 2022. Um, shit, man, man. I think that's all I got for 2022. Man, <laughs> man I think that just means I am getting old because, like, sometimes times, days, months, that shit just be flying by, bro. You don't even keep track of the fuck be going on sometimes. And I'm just so deep into this whole working shit and, you know, finding myself and career and all that shit and job searching, job hunting. You know, getting jobs that I thought would work for me, but they were really shit, so I had to quit them. And, you know, I had to look for more jobs, and now I got two jobs. Like, this shit just hasn't been easy, bro. <laughs> and because of the shit like that, you start, you know, some shit just starts you know, slip it out. I mean, that's pretty much what I thought about 2023 in the nutshell. Um, yeah, I know this is a shorter one, maybe. If I want to end around the 17 minute mark, 1728, 1729, 1730. I don't know. Because, like, I'm really just empty minded on it. Like, but all I can say is that I feel like, you know, the skeptic here, the skeptic who does autopsies, or film, movies, media, comics, etc. Feel like in 2022, you really matured, you know. Like you know, you found a belief, a faith. He, you know, really is dealing with this whole grown-up life thing. You know, bills and shit, debt, loans. You know, I feel like I'm really feeling it, and the shit. You can't put you under pressure, but, you know, you, you, you got to keep your stiff upper lip, man. You, you got to keep your stiff upper lip. <coughs> this shit's always rough. You, you have to. You have to keep your spirit. You got to keep your humor. You got to, man. Or you're just always going to be fucking disappointed. Especially, like, when you get a job application back and it says, we've seen your resume and we, the fuck, we decided to move on with it. Like, shit like that, like, gets to you, you know? You always get those back and forth every time you sign an application. And shit like that really shouldn't get to you. You know, like, you might feel kind of down at the dump or a little disappointed about it, especially, like, when you really need the job, you really need the money. But, you know, you, you gotta, like, get back on the horse. I know how generic and corny that sounds, but you got to. That's, that's speaking from my experiences, you know, finally being in the real world. You, you gotta jump back on the horse, no matter what. Sorry. It's just, you just got it. You got to You got to jump back on the horse. Um, so yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much sums up twenty twenty two in a nutshell. I just feel like more of just monologuing, but yeah, that's just it is what it is, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, y'all know the drill. Uh, like and subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. You know, tell everyone about this, spread it around, skeptic autopsy is sort of back. Like, there's no reason for this to go one hour long. There ain't really nothing to talk about <laughs> regarding last year. It just kind of came and went. You know, there was some upsides, some major downsides. You know, shook some hands, met some new people. You know, it, it, 
feel like I really grew up, you know. feel like I really, uh, 20, 2022 was really a growing up experience. That's all I got to say. And I uh, really wish I could make more time to do videos, more videos in the future with YouTube. And, uh, you know, of course, two jobs and shit ain't really made that easy for me to do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I really wish I could be around more. And eventually, if my uh, career, my business uh, comes into fruition, that will definitely be the case with me being on YouTube more often. And, of course, Twitter and my Instagram and my new Gab that I got to edit in. You know, I got Gab. So, yeah. And, of course, you know, I stopped there. And also got, I also, also want to do bitch shoot and uh, rumble, you know, in Odyssey. Just do more social media platforms, you know, regarding these videos and, you know, in terms of marketing and advertising my product and business in the future. Like, you know, I want to do more business and, uh, 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 investments and endeavors and all that. So, yeah, you know, like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, write down in the comments what you think. <sighs> and like always, yeah, that that's the brief of, that, that's the uh, exhale of, you know, stress. Like, like always, that is the storm is watching, y'all.